So the speeder pisses a policeman at 60 miles an hour, and the policeman starts right away the pursuit at 4 meters per second. How long will it take for the policeman to catch the speeder in seconds, and then how far have they traveled? So you know that he, the speeder is going 60 miles an hour, so then you need to convert miles an hour to meters per second. So you would ooh, you cancel that out and then minutes per seconds and then the minutes would cancel out and then you would convert miles to meters and that cancels out and then you are left with meters per second and that equals and that will equal 26.833 meters per second. And then for the policeman, you will have the acceleration. So that will be your equation. And then for the speeder, you have... So right there, you have to solve for T to make them equal, so you will multiply this by 2 and divide by A, so this will cancel it out, and then you do the same thing on this side, multiply by 2, divide by A, so now you're left with T squared equals VT times 2 all over A, so you're going to divide by T, so these cancel out, and then divide by T, so T equals 2 V over A and V is 26.833 meters per second and then you know the acceleration is meters per second squared so now you would just plug it in so T equals 2 times velocity divided by acceleration and T is going to end up 13.4165 seconds. So that will be your answer to A. And for B, all you have to do is plug in the time for, for in the acceleration, plug in the time for the one half acceleration time squared, or plug it in for velocity times time to get your distance and then it will be 26.833 meters per second times 13.4165 seconds oh. oh yeah so units cancel out and then you are left with 300 60.005 meters. And that is how you find the uh, when they will catch up to each other in seconds and then how far they've traveled.